Atlantic City's mayor says it's a way to level the playing field. He wants the gaming mecca to be the only place where the state would allow the sale of recreational marijuana for the first three to five years. His city has taken a huge hit during the COVID-19 pandemic, and Mayor Marty Small says AC gets nothing from state-imposed parking, luxury, hotel, and sports betting taxes. So he knows how to remedy that. He joins us now to discuss his vision. Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us. Please explain your vision for having Atlantic City as the sole place to sell recreational marijuana for the first three to five years in New Jersey. I mean, when you talk about the governor and lieutenant governor forming the Atlantic City Restart and Recovery Committee and a clear commitment to the great city of Atlantic City, um, that committee is tasked for economic development, new industries, jobs, et cetera. Um, there's not a better new industry to take advantage of than uh, the legalization of marijuana. Uh, it's, it's, it's no different than starting a pilot program uh, in the city to make sure that it works. It would increase tourism here in the city of Atlantic City, and it would give our residents a much needed uh, revenue stream. Um, as you know, according to the data in 2018, $154.5 million uh, you know, goes north uh, from the city of Atlantic City. We don't get luxury tax, we don't get parking tax, we don't get hotel tax, and we don't get anything off of sports betting. Just think, in the month of September, the state of New Jersey made $748 million off of sports gaming, and the residents of the great city of Atlantic City got zero. Well, what about, though, the rest of the state, though? Places like Newark and Patterson and Trenton and Asbury Park, they certainly want a share of, uh, of legalization. No, I mean, listen, this is not against uh, any municipality or any part of the state. This is simply just um, looking out for the good people of Atlantic City. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's unimaginable that if someone comes to Atlantic City and they stay four days, they park their car, they eat in our restaurants, they gamble. Of course, they stay in a hotel, they, they, they bet on sports. And when they leave from a four day weekend, the residents of Atlantic City get nothing. And um, we have to do better with that. Uh, we have to revisit some things. And um, as the mayor of the great city of Atlantic City, I'm going to keep up the good fight. Um, I just think it's an awesome uh, opportunity. Um, it would increase tourism if the city of Atlantic City is the only place, uh, you know, for a while. I didn't say in perpetuity. I stressed, you know, for a while. So um, I know that, um, you know, it's, it might not be popular in uh, other parts of the state, but among municipalities. But I'm the mayor of Atlantic City, and it's my job to look out for the best interests of the taxpayers of Atlantic City. I'm curious, have you proposed this to the state at all? No, well, I had a conversation with our state uh, representatives. Um, I saw some comments uh, back and forth. Ultimately, it's a legislative decision. Um, but if I don't put it out there, that's just like when we went to the state house to uh, campaign for the city to get revenue for sports gaming. It fell on deaf ears. So it's a conversation that we need to have now versus when the law is final. What would it mean to Atlantic City if you had this? What are your finances like right now? No, I mean, uh, we're, we're on uh, strong fiscal ground, uh, considering in the next three years, we are uh, projecting uh, three straight tax decreases. But the bottom line is we'll be in a much better position if we have revenue streams. But we don't get anything, but um, the pressure is put on our services. You know, we have public works, we have uh, police, we have everything else. and if the residents had an additional revenue stream or streams, it would make life easier as a taxpayer here in the great city of Atlantic City. I would imagine you're in for a heck of a fight though. You must be well prepared for this fight to challenge other places and certainly to, to challenge other cities in the state over an issue like this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, listen, um, I'm always up uh, for a fight. Like I said, this is nothing against any other uh, municipality or any section of the state. This is just me simply looking out uh, for my hometown, which the good people of Atlantic City elected me to do. All right. Mr. Mayor, thank you. We'll be watching this. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.